Hello everyone. My name is Jamie. This is Robin and I am doing a two year update and Batman is still here. He is still around. He is sleeping right now and he's 15 years old so I'm just gonna let him sleep but he is alive and doing pretty well um, considering some health challenges. So just an update that we're all here and we're all doing well. Um, thank you for asking so many questions and asking for an update and I'm really excited to to give you one um, I didn't want anyone to worry and I did want to get back to you guys so I've been good um, I've honestly been doing better um, than ever the past two years um, which is part of the reason I haven't been posting um, I've also really felt um, affected sometimes by by comments most of the comments are good and then, you know, some of the ones that aren't good, honestly, my skin is a little bit thin and I get bothered and so I have to um, set some boundaries. So um, hoping to just do some videos every once in a while. And so I'll let you know what I think helped me um, kind of be on this like really nice trajectory the past two years. And so I was doing pretty well the last time that I updated and continuing with the meditation, the breath work, the sound healing, um, just receiving that, working with my nervous system to work with my fight or flight response so I can go into rest and digest has been extremely important. Um, if you have chronic illness, you may experience being really bogged down by stress, even if it's like a little bit of, a, of stress, it might not feel that small. So that has been an absolute game changer for me and I'm so thankful to have found the practices of mindfulness and meditation, breath work, sound healing. I've been doing that for work the past three years is teaching. Um, it's also why I haven't been on here. I've been pretty busy in a mindful meditation teacher training program um, with Tara Brock and Jack Cornfield, teachers that I really admire. And I will be graduating um, in February and I've just loved that journey. Um, I think even just studying the practices of compassion has really helped me on my journey. And it's funny because I think a, a few years ago or like at the beginning of my illness, people had mentioned meditation and I remember really having an aversion to it. Like I had lightly tried it, but I thought it meant that if meditation were to help me that I really wasn't that sick and that's not true like I was really sick and um, I, I think that I just wanted to believe that I needed like a surgery or, or something and I, I just I, I just couldn't see how something like meditation would be that helpful or that useful like just focusing on the present moment like how is that going to help me get better and by no means is it a cure or a miracle cure or anything like that but my gosh is it helpful especially with other treatments and just for your overall well-being um, managing pain it's it's truly really amazing and I'll probably do a second um, video pretty soon just about how meditation and breath work and all these practices uh, really help uh, the immune system, our digestion, our, our well-being, which we know affects our physical health. So the reason, one of the reasons that I like dove into meditation is when I got my stem cell treatment and um, I don't remember what year it was, but a few years ago, I remember my doctor telling me this treatment will work better if you meditate. And he didn't seem like hippie-esque or anything not like you need to be a hippie um for meditation but we we kind of have that stereotype sometimes like he was just you know very cut and dry doctor and so for him to tell me that meditation would would really help with the process I I think I wanted to do everything he suggested so that if I didn't get better I could say I did I did everything and um I think that really did help. So shortly after that, I went to a sound healing and breathwork ceremony. Life has changed. Um, started, you know, seeing how I could share this with others. Um, and that, that has always been my goal. 
um, since I experienced it, it helped me so much. I'm like, okay, I want to learn how to do this so that I can share it with other people, especially other people that are dealing with chronic illness. So um, I've been teaching some meditation courses and it has been free and I always want to welcome people um, with chronic illness to, um, you know, to reach out to me um, if they want to take any of those courses and I'll try to um, make it donation based or free. So just for future reference. So I would say the stem cells, meditation, ozone, um, FMT, those were probably the, the biggest things. And, um, you know, as you might know, my, my diet is pretty limited, um, gluten-free, now pretty dairy-free. I've it's like gone back and forth from like vegetarian for a little while. I usually don't last like strictly vegetarian for too long. Um, and then pescatarian, I feel really good at. And then every, I almost, I went almost a year like as a pescatarian and then recently started eating chicken again, feeling some more energy. Um, but at, like it just, it just ebbs and flows. So definitely recommend, um, you know, listening to your body with that because one diet, like I can't stay on it for, for longer than a year. I kind of need to switch around or else I feel too weak or I feel too heavy. So yeah, so that's been really helpful. And yeah, the, the past two years have been some, some of the best years. And as far as like my diagnosis, like if I still have Lyme or chronic fatigue syndrome, myalgic encephalomyelitis, I do not know. Chronic fatigue syndrome, I don't think so because recently I've been exercising again and I've been so scared to exercise for like for years, like to seriously exercise. Like I've been doing yoga for a few years, um, but very like gentle yoga, um, restorative and yin. And I just started doing like kind of faster vinyasa yoga. Um, and, and, and just like workouts. Um, and I don't have malaise after exercising anymore. And if I remember correctly, that's one of the requirements for having ME CFS. So maybe I never had it. I don't know if I had chronic fatigue syndrome and then that made it easier for me to get Lyme or vice versa, but it doesn't seem that I, I have that anymore, but I will say I still take low dose naltrexone and I, I don't really want to see what it's, what life is like, um, off of it. Um, cause I, I have skipped it a few days and I'm like tired, but I'm not like so sick to where I was, like can't get out of bed, exhausted after brushing my teeth. It's not like that. I'm just like more, just a little more tired. Like just feels like I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, Lyme, I don't even know if I have that anymore. I know I have some damage um, from Lyme. Um, seeing a naturopath, my adrenals are kind of messed up. Like I'm not producing a lot of hormones at all. Like a lot of I'm not producing estrogen or progesterone, and um, and I'm producing like way too much cortisol, um, which I kind of already knew all of that. But I'm like starting to try to address all of that a little more seriously right now and she said you know could very well be the damage from from Lyme or um you know any of these other physical illnesses I had so um I I don't even do many treatments anymore that make me hurt because I don't need ozone that much anymore as of the past year um sometimes I'll have some energy crashes uh that happens and I'll I'll eat some ozone oil and that helps and I'm super grateful for that and I still have my ozone machine. I have it, you know, I have it around. And it, it's crazy to think I've kind of weaned myself off of a lot of these treatments. Um, another reason I haven't really been on is I, it's, it's harder to identify um, as having a chronic illness, which of course I'm, you know, I'm really happy about, but um, I still, still want to like, kind of connect with the with the community and see how I can help and I feel the best way I can help is what I'm doing now with my work um, with meditation um, since that's what helped me so there will be more videos um, you know coming up and of course like I said that'll all be 
um, free or donation based for for all of you and I'm trying to think what else um, yeah I'm just really happy um, thank you so much for asking about how I'm doing I saw someone's like it's been two years how about an update now so yeah an update now <laughs> sounds good um, yeah, so, low, oh, I will say low-dose naltrexone. I'm on a really, like, low dose now. I'm on, like, 1.5, which is what I started on. I went from, like, 1.5 to 3.5, and now I'm, I'm back down. So I'll probably, like, see if I can wean off of it. Um, so I just, I got, I got super lucky with the stem cells. Um, so, yes, if any of you do that and um, want advice, feel free to reach out. I have past videos about it. Um, that's probably the best place to to look around and I just highly recommend pre-treatment uh, with it and a place that's not gross and scammy you, you know those places are out there um, kind of hard to go through all of that mess but um, talk to people that have been there before people that um, you can hopefully be sure aren't working for the company so yeah I think that's it for now I'm sure I'll think of more things and I'll update you a little more later but just wanted to give you um an update for now since it's been so long all right so so much love for your, all of you guys and if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll post the the work that i am doing now if you want to check that out and um yeah really excited to pop on here and do this update goodbye